So in this video we will learn how to add form fields inside our department model. So what I mean to say is I want to add a text box, basically a text box for providing the department name. Since we don't have to provide department ID to insert into the table, we just have to provide one text box to allow the users to enter the department name and also a button to save that department. So we'll add a text box and a button so that on click of that button it will be saved to our database. So we're going to ch make changes to our add department model.js component. So here is where we want to add the text box and the button. So let's start by adding a row since we have already imported row, column and form components from React Bootstrap. So let's add a row and inside that let's add a column. And we give it a 6. So inside the column we will have a form control on submit we'll write a function later but we'll just give the function name as this dot handle submit so this function will be executed on click of the no, uh, add department button I'm mean, on click of the button right so we'll implement this function later but for now inside the form let's have a form group form group and control ID will be equal to we only need department name okay so inside this we will have a label form dot label which will be department name and then beside that we'll have a text box which will be you know form dot control so we have form dot control it is a self closing tag So type will be the text box name will be department name and it is a required field And then something called placeholder equal to the same department name so let's just check uh, how this thing looks so we have something like this Okay.
this seems to be some issue with the API let me just verify that okay anyhow we don't need this right now so we'll think about it later so since we are only adding the form fields we'll have a look at that later So next thing what we want to do is we want to implement that function which is the handle submit handle submit event so in here what we want to do is we will say event dot prevent default okay and then we'll say in the alert box so we'll just try to display whatever was entered in the text box for now in the next video we will implement the post method so that we can send this value whatever is there in the text box into our to our API method department dot value so I'll just show an alert pop alert box inside that I'll send the value whatever was entered in the table and then we need a button to be able to you know submit the form So I will have another form group inside that button variant equal to primary type will be equal to submit and then the text will be equal to add add department so let's check how that is going so I'll click on some uh, department name support one two three and click on add department so we can see that we are able to print it on the screen which means we are able to capture the value which was entered in the text box the next thing that we want to do is we want to send this data to our post department method or the API so that it it will be inserted into our table so we will have a look at that in the next video